What about uh, the writing of Uskoks? Because they are mostly from uh, Serbia. They have Serbian origin. Yes. origin. They use uh, writing uh, the letters, uh, Cyrillic letters. They are still used uh, in a few cases, not, not very much now, because the younger people are quite strong integrated in the Slovenian uh, majority group. But on the church, on the old books and documents, and still older monuments on the cemetery, they are still written in the, in the Cyrillic uh, letters. Uh, but the new one, now they are already in Latin. Uh, the s language of those people still have much more uh, Serbian or Montenegro influence, but anyway, in the uh, dialect in Bila Kraina, anyway, have uh, different dialects. Each village has different dialect. Still, you can find very s a lot of similarity in Serbian or in Croatian language with Slovenian speaking minority. I've, I've heard that uh, the Uskok, uh, the, the people from this Uskok ethnical group, they are celebrating, for example, Christmas differently with the different trees, uh, and uh, there's habit in connection with uh, Christmas is different. How is it? Yes, of course, because it is a uh, difference in using the calendar. Yeah, uh, The Catholic Church and the Pravoslav Church don't use the same Catholic, at least not all the Pravoslav Church use the same uh, calendar. Uh, most of the holidays it means they are 14, uh, 13 days later, uh, like uh, after 13 day, 13 day after uh, Catholic uh, Christmas is the Pravoslav Christmas, is the same with the New Year, uh, but not for the old holidays you can say the same, like uh, last year Eastern holiday was on the same day because it depends on the moon, not on the regular calendar. So uh, in general there are differences, but sometimes happened the holidays, some of the holidays could appear on the same day. What about the Christmas tree? Because I, I was told that uh, they uh, were celebrating with oak, oak tree. Uh, yes, the, at least the Serbs do that. Um, uh, on the evening uh, before the Christmas, no, on the Christmas Eve, they burn the fire in front of the church, big fire, and of course they use the oak tree, the leaves, and put it on the fire. Uh, this is a difference because uh, uh, Catholic uh, world, most, as I know, use the pine trees, different, also different, but usually pine trees. Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And what is the, the main subject of the poems or songs of Uskoks? What is the main subject usually? Usually, of course, it's the main subject because they were the warriors. It's about the war, about uh, kings and uh, heroes uh, which they fight with or which they fight for. Uh, of course, there are also the songs uh, about love, about traditional work and so on. Uh, they are not different to the others, but perhaps much of the songs are connected with this uh, tradition of warriors. Uh, in Bila Kraina, the uh, songs or the dances actually mostly represent different color. It means the dances in the group the whole group are dancing together in the circle. And the special group of the Uskoks means only the people from the village of Boyanzi, the Montenegro group. Uh, they have special tradition, it's called Mutasto Kola. Mutasto, it means mute. They don't use the music, they don't use the song, words, they just dance and make some kind of the noise with the, uh, with the shoes, what, what they are able to do. It means it, uh, it's uh, done in the, uh, without singing and uh, any music, all, all the dance. And that's perhaps really 
something very unique and special which you cannot find in any other group dances.